Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is another tutorial on creating and using Photoshop images. So, this is what we're going to create today. Now, this is a beginning tutorial. So, I'm going to show you how to take a photo, how to take it out of a background, how to use a gradient, how to add a mirror effect, and how to use text and blending options. So we're going to create this today. I just made this a couple of minutes ago and we're going to I'm going to show you how to do exactly this. All right? Straight from scratch. So, let's open up Photoshop. You want to go to File, New. You want to use default photo size. Just like that. Okay? Now the tools we're going to use here are the Move tool the rectangular marquee and lastly the magic wand well not lastly and as well as the gradient tool alright so let's actually start first thing we want to do is create a gradient you see how this is I have a two level gradient we're gonna do that right now okay so first thing we want to do convert layer from background Make sure it's on zero. Okay, opacity. I've set everything as the default. You want to select your rectangular marquee. Okay. Now, here is where we're going to start drawing. I'm starting from outside of the box. This way I know that everything inside is selected. So we're going to draw it. Click and hold. And about right here. Now we're going to pick our gradient tool. Now we're going to pick a kind of a silver color. So let's actually pick like a grayish silver color for my foreground. So this is your foreground, this is your background. Just like that. Now I can have a choice of using a linear or a radial. I want to use a radial for the first one. Now when I do that, I always click it outside. I hold shift or and I get the amount that I want so I'm gonna do now press control D or command D to deselect you want to create a new layer now and do the same thing for the other half start from here just like that click on my gradient I want to use linear for this one but you could always test them out to see all the other options that are here. But that's completely up to you. Hold shift again. Just like that. So now as you can see I actually have a stage right here. Alright? Well, now it's time for my photo. Now since I'm doing this from scratch I don't even have a photo with me. So you know what? Let's do... Let's get it from Google. You're using an iTouch photo. I want one with a plain white background. This actually looks looks good. Let's see if I can get something else. Okay, this could work. Let's use this one. All right, now I want to create this save image as or copy image. So let's say I just use copy image. I'm back here now. I want to go to file, paste. Notice that it pastes it on a new layer, which is exactly what you want. But this is obviously too big. So you want to go to edit, transform, scale. Move your mouse so you see it with uh, the arrows on both sides. You're going to hold shift, click the mouse, and drag it down move it up actually looks like a good decent size now you can press enter to place it but now this white background is in our way this is where we use our magic wand tool all you do is click on it and it automatically detects where the picture is so I use now the move tool to move all of that out 
just like magic. That's awesome, right? Click the delete key. So now you have two images. Now I don't need this. So I'm just going to select this again. Remember now, since we're selecting something on a blank layer, as you see here, nothing in the background will be selected. So I just move just like that, hit the delete key, and it's gone. Now hit control D, just like that. So now we just have this image. Cool. Now what about that mirror effect? Well, you would need to create a new layer. Excuse me, you need to duplicate this layer. So I'm just going to hold this, drag it down to the new page tab, just like that. Copy. So now I have two images on the same exact layer. I go to File, Transform, Flip Vertical. I'm still on the Move tool. I'm still on the second layer copy. I drag it down to right where I think the reflection will be cool. There actually looks pretty decent. So next thing I do, I need to create something called a layer mask. What a layer mask is, is that it tells Photoshop exactly where you want it to blend in. So a layer mask is just like something that you don't want to be seen. So let's start now with a gradient. Make sure you're on the black and white and make sure this is on black and white. Now you hold shift and you drag from outside of the box coming in. That actually looks cool right there. Whatever one works for you or looks better. But to me, that actually looks cool. So I have that. Now let's start creating some text. Use the text tool and select the text that works for you. Make sure now you're on the black and white or white and black, whatever one works. Can't spell these days. I'm going to say the iPod Touch is the greatest invention. Looks looks cool. Drag it out. If it's too big, I could just change the size. That looks cool. Just like that. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. Click here. Create a copy. Transform. Flip. Vertical. Oh. Yes. I'm right. Flip vertical. Just like that. Now I'm going to create another layer mask. Click on my gradient again. Do the same exact thing. Just like that. Cool. Now. Let's go back to the first one and start using some effects on it. So we're going to go right click on it, go to blending options. Let's start fooling around with some stuff. How about a drop shadow? That looks cool, right? Now let's see if we could add a little bit more of a... That looks nice. How about a gradient? That looks cool. And a 
background glow and the outer glow. Can we make it make it a white? Excellent. So pretty much you could mess around with the options that you see here. And whatever one fits you is the best one to choose. So thank you for watching this tutorial. And I hope you learned from it. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me a comment on YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Alright guys.